glory of you. Kaguta Asmele. Do you take Mama Janet again to be your beloved wife? Will you continue to love her? Will you continue to comfort her? Will you continue to honor her? And continue to protect her? And will you continue to forsake all other women and remain faithful to her? As long as you both shall live. Yes, I do. Mama Janet, do you take Jeno away, Kabuta, again, to be your beloved husband? Will you continue to love him? Will you continue to comfort him? Will you continue to honor him and continue to protect him? And will you continue to forsake all other men and remain faithful to him as long as we both shall live? Yes, I do. Lord, we stood before you 10 years ago and renewed our marriage vows after 40 years. We are now again standing before you and before the congregation to renew the marriage vows and confirm our covenant with each other and with you. At this, our good and jubilee, we are full of gratitude for what you have done by blessing us and our family abundantly in the last 50 years. But we also ask for your forgiveness where we may have offended you, offended each other, or where we have transgressed this covenant in any way. Forgive us where we have not walked in love as we should. Wash and cleanse us by, by the, the blood, blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ, and give us a new, new beginning. We will commit to do better, better from now until, until the end. We therefore ask for more abundant, abundant blessings, blessings as we have already blessed, blessed us. May you strengthen our covenant bond and give us more grace for us to complete our leadership trust, help us to be a good example the people you have given us to lead. I, Yoel Kaguta Tobhabra Museveni, take you, Janet Kataha Museveni, again to continue to be my beloved wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better and for us, for richer and for poorer, in health and in sickness to love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy law, and this is my solemn vow. I, Janet Kataham Seveni, take you your way to Kaguta to Bhavaram Seveni, again, to continue to be my beloved husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in health and in sickness, to love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow. Uh, Janet, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I, I, I all that I, I I am I give you, and all that I have I share with you, within the love of God, our Father, Jesus Christ, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You ready? I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give you, 
and all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, our Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 This is done by authority given to me by God, the Church, and the civil laws of the government of the Republic of Uganda, that we go back to God as joining together, let no man put us under. And now, the expression of this affection, I request them to give each other a holy hand. In Jesus' name. Let us continue prayer. May this God always continue to bless you. May this expression of love in your eyes, the beginning of every morning and the end of every day, single day, let this be your expression of love. May this affirmation of your love and the physical and the verbal affirmation characterize the greeting or parting in your hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us continue to pray. Our blessings on the children. Our children are not going to be able to do Some people confuse life with, with facilitations for life. They don't know what is life and what are the facilitations for life. You talk of education, I am educated. You talk of wealth, I am rich. You talk of uh, profession, professional development. But all those are facilitations for life. Life itself is family. Family, which means wife, means children, means grandchildren. That's life. So some people confuse. They confuse facilitations for with life. And that's why they get lost, like, like those Europeans of yours who have got lost. Eh? Profession. Profession, it in a family, it ain't change. Eh? So therefore, I want to thank Mama Janet because she, Akantandro, Irungu, Kurevi Antambiru, Bantu. And life meant saving us, Mama and myself, who were born here, we are indigenous of this area, saving us from disease. And I enumerated the diseases, those of, especially at that time when we do not have vaccinations, measles, chicken pox, small pox, what have you, all those, polio. And I told them how my sister, Dr. Violet Kajubiri, she became uh, an academician. She's a highly qualified academician. Uh, but she got polio in 1955. And, and she has been uh, limping all this time. So, God protect, protected us from diseases, from snakes, because we were walking in the bush, and I would step on the snakes. Uh, protected us through wars, because we had to go through wars, as one of the speakers was saying, from accidents. So we thank God for that, for life, number one. Number two, we thank God for the connections he created for us. First of all, we had our area here, the Ankore area. Then we have Uganda, which creates more opportunities for us. Then we have got Africa. That's why, for instance, the help we got to, to rescue our country, part of it came from uh, President Nyerere of Tanzania, who helped us. He was not a Ugandan. He was not from this area, but he helped us. Samara Masher of Mozambique. He helped us. 
Muammar Gaddafi of Libya, he helped us. He was not from here, but he helped us. And then finally, even beyond Sweden, my family were able to go to, to Sweden and stay there uh, when they could not stay in, 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 in Africa. So we thanked God for that, what I was calling the concentric circles of, of connections. Then we, I thanked God for the, 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 the marriage, the, the, the marriage with Mama, 1973. And then the children who have come out of that marriage and the grandchildren. So I was saying that this, uh, this Thanksgiving could have been, because we shifted from here in 1960, shifted to another place. That's where our, 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 our main homes are. But I, I brought the function here because the, the, other guy, the other lady, the one I called here, was my core cow, cow, cow girl. She was a cow girl, I was a cow boy. We were grazing cows together. So when I came here some time ago, we were having a function on the other side. Then she asked me, do you have children? Uh, now, so, so I said, I promised myself, that, no, I must bring these children when Kentish is still around. And, and I, I fulfilled that. Uh, so therefore, then I ended by, I, I told them that, you know, this area is a very rich area with a very strong culture. When we, when we were growing here, we had cows, we had crops, we had skills, we had all sorts of things. We had every, fishing, some sort of fishing. But all of it was for home consumption. It was not commercial. So when, when, when some of us went away to 1959, when, when I went to another school in, 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 in Mbarara, we started seeing the wider world where people were, were producing for food, home consumption, but also for money. Then I remember that our area were only producing for food. But by the time I became conscious and became active, I was already in the other place where I shifted to. And initially, I did the work there to, 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 to change. Uh, because I'm glad there are other Africans here. You can go and check in your own countries. By 2013, here in Uganda, 2013, a few years ago, only 32% of the homesteads in Uganda were in the money economy. 68% were producing for home consumption. And that's where the poverty is. So we said, no, you must, and they all have land. It's not like in Europe, you find people don't have land. But here families all have land. Uh -huh. But they don't use it. They only use it for home consumption. Uh, and, and so that's why when I came back here, I had now to struggle with that, that problem of uh, convincing these people. Now, I'm glad the bishop, one of the bishops here, she, she, she has embraced that, uh, that uh, effort. And she's producing coffee for the church. The, the, the movement is, is, is taking off. So that's what I was, I, I was, I was telling them.